Hi everybody, um, welcome to Computing with Craig. Um, today we are going to be looking at the how to fix the Windows stop code memory management blue screen of death. So, what we're going to do is, uh, unlike unlike on, on older versions of Windows, uh, Windows 10 is a remarkably stable uh, version of Windows. Now, Windows will still throw out blue and screen of deaths uh, when it de detects problems such as the Windows stop code memory management error. So what we're going to do is, um, I've got a virtual machine here up, here, up and running and we're going to look at how to fix this problem. But first, we're going to have a quick look at what causes, what causes it. So, memory management is, as you might guess, is from the name, is an important part of Windows installation. It keeps your RAM usage re uh, steady while you're using your PC. Uh, when this process fails, rogue processors soak up all available memory and boost uh, your system becomes prone to crashes and failures. So the blue screen of death error is one of the inevitable results of that. Uh, there are plenty of reasons why the memory management error can occur, including outdated software and drivers, corrupt files and hardware failures, uh, especially with your RAM or your hard drive. In the first instance, restart your PC and see if that fixes the problem. If it doesn't, You'll need to do, uh, take one of the following steps. Right, so what we're going to, first going to do is run the mem uh, Windows Memory Diagnostic Tool. So, in Windows, I'm going to use the Windows key and R to open up the run command. So we're going to type in MD S C H E D and then click OK. So, memory problems can cause your computer to lose information or stop working. So, what we're going to do is... Restart now. So, restart. Like I say, I'm using a VM, so as you can see, it brings up the Windows Memory Diagnostic Tool. So this uh, this actually does two uh, two passes. And it will automatically show you the uh, results after it's logged up back on. Right, sorry, bit of a mistake there. When the test is complete, you'll need to open up the event viewer. So we'll have a look at that. Um, when this process is complete.
so as you can see we're on uh, test pass two of two now just wait for this to complete We're just about complete and it should uh, automatically restart. There we go. Right, so what we need to do um, now is go on to event viewer to view the log report. So what we're going to do is right click, click uh, event viewer. So we are going to find Windows logs system. So system and then we're going to click on find. So I'm going to find Memory Diagnostic So It would come up on here, uh, down the bottom here Windows memory diagnostic test did the computer's memory and detected no errors. Right. So we couldn't find any errors in this instance, so what we're going to do is next we would check the drivers. So go to this PC. Go on to manage. Sorry, wrong. Go on start. Go on to settings. Update and security. Windows update. And check for updates. As you can see there, we've got quite a few updates there. But this is a virtual machine, so... Right, the next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to run something called a system file a check. Or SFC. So, what we need to do is I'm looking for Windows PowerShell and one as a partner administrator. Yep. 
So what we're going to do is type in the following command SFC space scan now. So what I'll do is I'm going to run through this and I'll, I'll be pausing it just for quick, just for quickness for the uh, demonstration. Right, so we're back, we're back on there, so apparently the Windows Resource Protection found crop files and successfully repaired them. Don't know how that is because it's a brand new installation of Windows on a virtual machine, right? But there you go. Um, the next check we would probably do, if that failed and it was still doing it pulling up the same error is in the same screen is check disk uh, forward slash oh. so checks can it run because volume is in use by another process would you like to show yes in this instance, I'm going to say no because I don't need to. Right, the very last thing, or second from last thing you would do, is after you've done all the software checks, a corrupt PC can res only be resolved by resetting or reinstalling Windows. So, to do this, you go onto your settings. Go into update and security, go into recovery, and what we're looking for is reset this PC, get started, click OK. Right, so what we want to do is keep my files. So, how would you like to? In, uh, Reinstall Windows, local reinstall. So next, this way it take long. Right, so and then just click on reset. It will automatically restart the computer. Now Unfortunately, whilst we're, whilst we're running through this, unfortunately, if this blue screen of death error is caused by a faulty hardware, then no software fix or even a Windows reinstallation can resolve it. If you've discovered a problem with your RAM during testing, for instance, your only option is to replace it. Um, there is no other op no other option now if you're unsure if your ram is faulty but the windows uh, memory diagnostic tool has detected issues you can download something called uh, memtest 86 and that you can uh, use that to perform a more thorough test of your ram to confirm if there's any errors Your system memory can be only one part of the puzzle, however, if you're still getting a blue screen of death error after trying all of these fixes, you may need to replace other components, including up to your hard drive. Okay. 
So, like I said, uh, blue screen of death arrows are rare, but when they come, they these tips that I've given in the video should help you troubleshoot the is, uh, issue. The win the, the window stop called memory management. Uh, blue screen of death is usually a sign of a problem with your RAM. Um, but you, there are tools there that you can, can use to check to ensure that it's not just a software issue and not a hardware. You never go down the route of automatically assuming it's a hardware issue when it can be easily resolved with a, a, a a quick scan or maybe even a reinstallation of Windows 10 never automatically assume it's your actual memory okay so I'm going to leave it at that um, hopefully this has been a great help for you um, if it has uh, thumbs up uh, please like and subscribe if you have liked the video like it subscribe if you if you want more videos like this, see more videos like this from myself um, and have a good day